confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us all of our sins. It doesn't end there. He says he will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us confess our sins of omission and sins of commission. Let us confess our sins for the grudges we bear each other for the unforgiveness that because of us it's been very difficult for people to come to Christ making his death on the, cry, on the cross almost useless for the hardness of our hearts to contribute financially towards the building of the church, the mission of Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins. That we do not pray for each other, which the Lord wants us to do. That instead of praying to support the leadership of the church, we gossip about them and discredit them so that when they stand up to minister in the Lord, it becomes difficult for people to affirm them and accept the ways God is spending them for the church. Let us pray and ask for forgiveness. That we do not pray in our homes, that we do not read the scriptures for ourselves in them, but waste our time on social media for which reasons we are becoming weak let us pray and ask God for forgiveness Let us continue to thank God in our hearts for making it possible for us to be here today and for listening to our prayer of confessions and forgiving us. Almighty God, who truly forgives all those who are penitent, have mercy upon you. Pardon the living all your sins, confirm and strengthen in all goodness, and bring to life everlasting to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we would call on Basic to lead us in a time of adoration and praise.
We please say as we listen for the reading of the scriptures. And we're taking the first two scriptures. Our first Bible reading is taken from Lamentations chapter 5, verse 15 to 22. Shall we please listen to the word of God? The joy of our hearts has ceased. Our dancing has been turned to mourning. The crown has fallen from our head. Woe to us, for we have sinned. For this our heart has become sick. For these things our eyes have grown dim. For Mount Zion, which lies desolate, jackals prowl over it. But you, O Lord, reign forever. Your throne endures to all generations. Why do you forget us forever? Why do you forsake us for so many days? Restore us to yourself, O Lord, that we may be restored. Renew our days of old, unless you have utterly rejected us, and, and you remain exceedingly angry with us. This is the word of God. Our second Bible reading is taken from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 to 10. Shall we please listen to the word of God? Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering have been experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. 
And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. This is the word of God. Church, we will chant Psalm, the, Psalm 46 as the choir leads us. Brothers and sisters, we shall continue to start to listen for the first gospel, which will be followed by the account and ever release of the same gospel. So we stand for the English, and then we'll sit for the remaining three. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew in the fifth chapter, reading from the 13th to the 16th verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. The Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5. We are reading from verse 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if it's but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father 
who is in heaven. Beloved, the gospel of Christ. Yanking can I assem I a tossumin son? Yebunuo Matio Tinum and Tichem Mudumian, sir, Cosi Duncia, or the phone moment tea radiasin. Muni as a sister in Chene, Nancy and Chene de Yara, then now with the Bashan in Chene, and Yam Mashi view, Jesse Ushu, now Nipper Titias, Muni Yasin Han, Kuru I had a people so into me down. Now one song can near in fine share or crossing. Now Imu, where the sea can near just now. I shall have my war or war or dining moon in ya. Sarah, now Mumma can near in share in the painting. Now whom near pa, now a shame where ja I was soon no in your yam. Radiasing. Wabana or Nikanimu, Niji Etene, and Matio Sane Papa, Hicho Enumu, Kajakuku Niji, Yumaka Ete, Kayashin Yumaka Ekba, Nefine, Nihan Wabuan Marimo Lepui, Shikon Lemu Jinia, Shikajimu Nan Bule, Ni Akao Lemu Dong, Eni Hanoko Dong, Akaja Achi Ashi, Nubomena Nine. Najija Lemi Lale, Mani Mago Nole, and Yay Akati, Asa Asun Kani Ama Chesishi, Shimon Akema Kanichunu, Ni Etro Eha, Mani Yoshia Lefe, Nakanya Han Yala Atra Yabome Ahe, Koni Amena Nini Femoni Bakbaile, Ni Ame Wunye Cheni Yo when Lehi and Yam, Yamare Mole, Amen. Le Matteo Bagbal, Tarton, Cho Kupi, Weton, Vasede, we are ten year, Minamia Sema Ovenia, Miawenye J, Miawenye Anigba J, Perje, Kennedy Bu Ebe Vivila, Nuka Choge Wala, Ado Vivina Maha, Cho Esia Gila, Maganion and Nadako, Kabum, Wachoe Afube. Bena Amona da Fueji. Miawenye Ihemabe Kekeli. Dusi Legila. Womaten Avileo. Eye Womesia Akadi Danade Afipateo. Kede Wade de Dituji. Eye Wakwel. Eye Wakwel. Amesia Amesio Kata Afpo. Eh, what clean a messio catan le bapemo? Nenemake, mina mia peke kelly, naclen le ameo pen kume. Bena wakpo mia pen nunue wawa. Eh, wakafu mia fufu si legifu. Eh, nyama upenya. Amen. Church, we are so privileged today. Well, as I indicated from the beginning of the service, we have presiding over the service today, 
the Anglican Bishop of Accra, the Right Reverend Dr. Daniel S.M. Toto, and he will be giving us the homily, uh, and it's a privilege. You can imagine how busy he is in the year. And to prepare ourselves and usher him to give us the homily, we sing AGH 31. AGH. Pray. Yes, Lord, your faithfulness is so great for which we are alive today. Father, we have come into your presence. Lord, speak to us that we may speak in living echoes of your word. So, Father, may the words of my mouth 
and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable unto you, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, I bring you to greetings from the Anglican Diocese of Accra to preside the Bishop's Court. I want to thank the leadership of this church for inviting me once again to perform confirmation service in this ecumenical church, for which I'm grateful to the priests and the chairman of council and all others who are here this morning. So I welcome myself to United Church. And I believe that we have a very good fellowship this morning. That will be a remembrance. Because I think um, my representative here, this is his last year. So maybe just a few weeks ahead of him, he bamoos this place. And I don't know when I will come again. So. But Mr. Chairman, if you are still here as a chairman, invite me, I'll come. Senior Edda. This morning we have a confirmation service and I was giving the theme, Lord restore us, coming from the book of Lamentations, chapter five and verse 21 and 22. Restore us to yourself, Lord, that we may return. Renew our days as of old, unless you have utterly rejected us and are angry with us beyond measure. So the theme is, restore us, O Lord. O Lord, restore us. Beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, Rebecca history tells us that God loves the people of Israel very much. And he chose them among many nations for himself. But these people were stiff-necked people. People who haven't, haven't seen the mighty power of God in their lives and the goodness of the Lord yet they still did not want to walk the ways of the Lord. They want to have their own way. Right from Egypt, when they saw the mighty hand of God that delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh, from that bondage, yet out of that country, seeing God's hand at work, they rejected God and went for an idol. And God became so angry with them. All through their journey in the wilderness, in fact, because of their disobedience, God led them through the wilderness for 40 years. So that that generation will pass and a new one will come that will take them to the promised land. That was God's wish. But along the line, they were like their fathers and their mothers. So God brought judges and prophets just to cause them to come to faith with God. But Lord, to know what avail. Therefore, God says, I will let a hidden nation punish you. So they went into exile. They went into exile. So when they got to exile, they realize that there is God. But before God, Moses told them in Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 15. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 15, following, following, that if they disobey God, they will not live long in the land they are going to occupy. So let me, I want to read that one so that we, the, the prophecy and the statement 
of Moses coming to pass. Remember, the theme is restore us, O Lord. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 15. For I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him, and to keep his commandments, decrees and laws. Then you will live and increase. The Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to possess. But if your heart turn away and you are not obedient, and if you are drawn away to bow down to other gods and worship them, I declare to you this day that you will certainly be destroyed. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. This day I call heaven and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live and that you may love the Lord your God, listen to his voice and hold fast to him for the Lord is your life and he will give you many years in the land he swore to you, to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Beloved, this is what Moses told them, and yet they did not. So they are now in their son. And when they, they were feeling the absence of God, that God has rejected them, they cried to the Lord and said, Why do you always forget us? Why do you forsake us so long? Restore us to yourself, Lord, that we may return. You knew our days of old, unless you have utterly rejected us and are angry with us beyond measure. Yet they realize where they are, that this is not our place, this is not our home. So God might restore them. Restoration will come when you realize that there is a, a break. Something has gone wrong. Something is bad. It has to be restored. When we realize that we have depleted our land, we have Galam say, say, let's restore our land. But are we restoring our land? They call for restoration. That means that they have repented of themselves and says, God, will you be angry with us forever? That Ben now best is someone dream your way on. Mebo bachaki o dream more your way. Lord, we have seen that we have done wrong. Restore us. Beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, our theme for the whole year as a church is restore us, O Lord. What have you realized in our life that call for the restoration that we have themed for 2023? What is it that have gone wrong in our life, in the life of the church? And the church says that, Lord, restore us. Remember, the church is not this beautiful structure. The church is you and me. So the church have seen that we as members of this church have drifted away. We are going to exile. Though we are here, our minds are in exile. Like our nation. Though we are Ghanaians, we are living Ghanaian soul, but everything of us is in exile. Hello? As a nation, we are in exile, isn't it? All our minerals are in exile. Our oil is in exile. Our diamond is in exile. Our gold is in exile. Our bauxite is in exile. That is why we're going through what we're going through. We are in exile. Nothing belongs to us here in this country. Everything has been given out. And now we are slaves in our own country. 
restore us, O oh Lord. Lord, restore us. There's something basically wrong for which we, the members and the citizens, have been affected. That's why we cry, restore us, O oh Lord. The Lord can only restore us when we accept the fact that we have a runabout turn. The Lord has not forgotten us. He loves us. But he can only restore us as individuals and as a nation when we come to faith with him. What it means is that there's a break in our relationship with him. It's far away from us. It's not nearing us. It's not coming close to us. When it's coming, then we are going back. Hello? When God is coming to us, then we are doing what? We are going back. So we need this very important step to take. A step of repentance. A step of turning back to the Lord. We are all Christians here. That's why we are here. And I, I might assume that we are about 300 or so in this chapel today. If those of us here today are the Christians that God demand of us, Ghana will be a better place to live in. He said to Abraham, can I find 10 people in Sodom and Gomorrah? Abraham said, no. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, two, not even a single one. If God should come today, that can I find faithful Christians in Ghana today so that I will restore you? Can God find any to unto himself? Beloved, for God to restore us, our life must be God-centered lives. Not that we go about as angels from the realms of glory, but our relationship to our fellow human beings and to God will determine the level of the restoration. The rich man, young man, came to Jesus in Mark chapter 15, but Mark 12 verse 15 is following, following that, uh, uh, how, how can I have eternal life? And what's the greatest of all the laws? Jesus told him, Love the Lord your God before your heart, before your soul, before your mind. The second is that is love your neighbor as yourself. That is the point of restoration. Are we loving God? The a brother, very reverend, what in, in his call for confession says that, we have hardened our heart to support the church financially to achieve its goal. Hello? Did I hear it right? We have. But when we love God, when we are in close relationship with him, whatever belongs to us on this earth, doesn't, it's not ours, it's for God. So give back to God. So the widow, the last coin she had, because you know that coin doesn't belong to her, it belongs to God. So she dropped it in the offering bowl. Many of us have, we have been called, we don't give, but governor decided to take it away from us. Then we are angry with him. That's the exile, your money has gone. Your money has gone to exile, because you have been disobedient to the call of God. To support his work. So he has taken your money away from you. I'm not happy about that. But that's how God operates.
the Bible says in Colossians 3 1 that if you have risen with Christ set your mind on things above you know things on this earth Jesus also says that let your treasure be in heaven where no head cut will touch it where no thief will come and steal and where no cockroaches will destroy it restore us O oh God today about 17 of our brothers and sisters sons and daughters have offered themselves to full membership to receive Christ and to be confirmed with the Holy Spirit what they are saying is that Lord restore us today the Lord will only restore you when you have come to faith with him when you have accepted his control and lordship over your life then he will restore you to where you need to be beloved lord jesus christ so jesus christ says that for for the world to see that we have been restored our life must reflect our thought and light now the seen as such and light and when the world sees us as salt and light, then that restoration will be complete. That restoration will be complete. But now, there is a big, big gap and no bridge to cross. But thanks be to God that Jesus Christ has given the victory that now is a bridge for us to cross to the Father. What is your relationship with the Lord? What's your relationship with Christ? Relationship with your fellow human being. The Lord has promised to restore us, to reign in our hearts. When you go to Psalm 80, the psalmist May the same plea, Lord, restore us. And finally, he says, the Lord is reigning forever. Can you say that the Lord is reigning forever in your life today, in this church? God is not angry with us. But he first loved us before we loved him. So, as you come this day to be confirmed, it's our prayer that the Lord will restore you. He will give you a new life. That separation today, he says that is joining hands with you. If only you will live according to his word. Dear people of God, our nation needs to be restored. We have been joined hands as Christians to restore our nation. Ghana, as we know of old, is not Ghana today. Those who are above 60 years and plus knows Ghana, how Ghana was. We have the best of everything. We have all the supermarkets and super malls today. Chinese and uh, Koreans and then South Africans are building walls for us. So we are really in a situation that we need God to restore us. Let us pray to God that God will restore our nation as he restores our individual lives so that our life of old, where we enjoy sweetness with the Lord, shall be established. Let us join our hearts together to sing. A very hymn I love so much that reminds me of my walk with the Lord. Thou my everlasting portion. Thou my everlasting portion. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Savior. Everlasting portion is Christ your everlasting portion. If you can say that, it means that you are confident that the Lord has restored you. And if He has restored you, you are saying you are going to walk with Him throughout your journey. May God give you the grace to surrender unto Him. Because it's going to renew you. It's going to renew you. It's going to renew our nation. It's going to renew our church. Because he's not angry with us forever. May we surrender unto him that he will restore us. That we will walk with him. That the world will know that we are the salt and the light of the world. Let us pray. Gracious and our living Father, I want to thank you and bless you. Loving us, caring for us, my Lord, we have abandoned you. We have not walked in your ways. My Lord, today we ask you, God, to restore us. Lord, restore us to our former days as a nation, as individuals created in your image. Whatever I've done, gone amiss, whatever directed in our lives, in our business, Lord, restore us this day. And make us see you at hand, your hand at work in our lives. That forever. You will reign in our hearts. We have asked this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Brothers and sisters, we continue as we declare our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. In God the Father Almighty, in the God of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, is the Son of the Lord, who has been his marriage and his spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and descended into hell. Today he rose again from me, and ascended in God. This is the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from the end to the end to the end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and the life and the last. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we will sit as a choir treat us to an anthem, an anthem by the choir. Beloved in Christ, it's time for the bishop to lay his hands for the sacrament of confirmation. But before then, let me read a confirmation preface. Confirmation is the means by which the Holy Spirit is given to make one a fully fledged member of the church to God's kingdom. 
It also makes one a partaker of the Holy Communion, which was instituted by Jesus Christ for the healing of our souls and bodies unto eternity. And the church, especially the Anglican Church and the Roman Catholic Church, confirmation is administered by the bishop, who, standing in the shoes of the apostles, lay his hands upon the candidates and prays that they may receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. A biblical reference to this practice of the church can be found in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verse 14 to 17, where the earliest confirmation service is recorded. In order for the confirmation service to be meaningful and spiritually rewarding, the church teaches that candidates study the Lord's Prayer, the Apostles' Creed, as well as the Ten Commandments, which are moral lessons that will help us to know our duty towards God and our neighbor. Candidates are also required to answer questions the Catechism, to study the Catechism. The confirmation candidates here present have been prepared in accordance with the rules of the church regarding Christian formation. In this service, the confirmation candidates will ratify the vows that their godparents made on their behalf in baptism and thereafter endeavor to hold aloft the banner of Christ as they continue to serve God using their talents and treasure. Don't have done the facts. My Lord, I'm done. Those to be confirmed, please stand. First and foremost, I want to appreciate the parents and godparents of these young men and women who are before us for confirmation. At the baptism, you did vow that you will train them in the way of Christ. And today, that training, that nurturing that you offered them have brought them here today. For them to take up that challenge of Christian living upon themselves. So to all godparents and parents, I say thank you very much for giving them to the church. You have done your duty. Now it's left to them. They are papers in their hands, and this is, they are going to ratify the vows at your baptism that you made on their behalf. And therefore, on the day of accountability, you will not be called that you didn't do your duty, but today, your duty towards them and to God have been completed. So once again, the church says thank you very much for nurturing them in the faith and bringing them to confirmation. So now you, the confirmants, you have in your hands a paper. There will be a point that I will ask you to say the Apostles' Creed. I will not say I do, I do, I do. So, if you can't say the Apostles' Creed, then you can't be a Christian, though. Because for every Christian, the Apostles' Creed is our faith. Not just Anglican, Methodist, Presby, but now with the Pentecostal and the Charismatics are now saying the Apostles' Creed. That's the summary of our faith. So every Christian must know that. Or you cannot say, tell me if you cannot say, I won't put you there because your mommies and your friends are here so that they, they won't see you saying Latin when you're supposed to say English. 
Should I ask you to say it? You will say it. We just said it as part of our worship. Eh? Okay. I could see from your faces and your mobile phone faces that if I should ask you to say it, then I say member. So just answer that I do then. Do we hear in the presence of God and of this congregation? Renew the solemn promise and vow that was made in your name at your baptism, ratifying and confirming the same in your own persons, and acknowledging yourself bound to believe and to do all those things which your godfathers and godmothers then undertook for you. Now, do you, I don't hear the, uh, the May voice that read the, uh, the reading in heaven. That alone can, can, can zoom all of us here. <laughs> so let me hear you again. Do you hear the presence of God of this congregation? Renew the solemn promise and vow that was made in your name at your baptism, ratifying and confirm the same in your own persons, and acknowledging yourself bound to believe and to do all those things which your Godfathers and Godmothers then undertook for you. Do we reject Satan and all his works and all the empty promises that he gives us? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now sitting at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost and today is given to you sacramental in your confirmation? Do you believe in the one Catholic Church, the communion of sin, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of their body, their life everlasting? This is our faith. By proclaiming the faith in the, of the church, we are proud to profess Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sit. We shall sing the hymn, aging 8207. The bishop will, lead the, will sing the first verse by himself, then all of us will join in the singing.
Beloved in the Lord, at this moment, I ask you to pray for those to be confirmed. If you know anybody by name, mention the person's name and present him or her before the throne of God's grace for his touch upon his or her life. Pray that God's anointing upon, will be upon him or her. That through this confirmation, he or she will identify and know his gifts. Pray that as he's being restored to the Lord's day, the Lord will renew him or her. I will accept the Lord as his everlasting portion, walk with him closely from hence. Pray that the church will welcome them into their midst nurturing their gifts and talents that they will become instruments in the hand of God to draw all men and women unto God. Pray for their parents and for all who have the care of them, that they will continue to nurture this new faith in them, that they will become salt and light unto others. Finally, pray for yourself. Having gone through confirmation right like this, but you have lost your relationship with the Lord. Pray that the Lord will restore you unto Himself. He will renew you. That He will reign forever in your life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, who has vowed to regenerate these thy servants and handmaids by water and the Holy Spirit, and has given to them forgiveness of all their sins, strengthen them with such thee, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, and daily increase them thy manifold gifts of grace, the spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and God's strength, the spirit of knowledge and true godliness, and fill them, O Lord, the spirit of thy holy fear, now and forever. Amen. And the Lord is your servant, I am with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Benaya, I sound the song of the cross. 
and confirm you the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Then fill all this your servant Joshua with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for yourself and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Joshua, ascend the son of the cross and confirm with the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Strength of the Lord is your servant, Christos, with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for yourself and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Christos, a son and son of the cross, and confirm me with the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Then, the Lord, is your servant, Nain Kekeli, with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Nain Kekeli. I son the son of the cross and confirm with the chrism of salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is your servant, Jeremy, with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Jeremy, I son the son of the cross. And confirm with the chrism of salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
strength, the Lord is your servant, Andy, with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Andy, I stand a son of the cross and confirm you the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord is your seven rodling with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Rodlin, I stand a son of the cross and confirm the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Lord is your servant, Mishael, with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for yourself and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Mishael, I stand the song of the cross and confirm with the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Gentle Lord is our servant Paul with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Paul, I stand at the cross and confirm you the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord is your servant, wisdom with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Wisdom, I stand a son of the cross and confirm with the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 
the Lord is your servant, charged with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Charles, I send a son of the cross and confirm with the chrism of salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is your servant, Elkanah, with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Elkanah, I sound the song of the cross and confirm you the chrism of salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is your heart made at now with your Holy Spirit. Empower her for your service and sustain her all the days of her life. Amen. Amen. Edna, I sign a song of the cross and confirm you the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh -huh. Thank the Lord is your hand be clear now with your Holy Spirit. Empower her for your service and sustain her all the days of her life. Amen. Clear now. I sound the sound of the cross and confirm the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Strength, the Lord, is your heart made, Manuela, with your Holy Spirit. Empower her for your service and sustain her all the days of her life. Amen. Amen. Manuela, I sound the song of the cross and confirm with the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 
to him, for Lord, is your heart made. Coffee with your Holy Spirit. Empower her for your service. And sustain her all the days of her life. Amen. Amen. Coffee. I send a song of the cross. And confirm with the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Strength of the Lord is your hand made Nadia with your Holy Spirit. Empower her for your service and sustain her all the days of her life. Amen. Amen. Nadia, I sang the song of the cross and confirm the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and beloved in God, who make us both to will and to do those things that be good and acceptable unto thy divine majesty. We make our supplications unto thee for these thy servants and handmaids. Upon whom, after the example of thy holy apostles, we have now laid our hands to certify them by the sign of thy favor and gracious goodness towards them. Let thy fatherly hand who beseech thee ever be over them. Let thy Holy Spirit ever be with them and lead them to the knowledge of obedience of your word, that in the end they may obtain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. What mighty Lord and everlasting God, vast service sixty, so to direct, sanctify, and govern the hearts of these thy servants and enemies in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments, that through thy most mighty protection, both here and ever, they may be preserved in body and soul to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please sung by a basic as the women fellowship bring their great entrance. We'll do all together. So please, as we sing, the women fellowship will bring their great entrance. Then the offering continues. Thank you.
seminary a lot of money to train one priest thousands of Ghana cities so I told you that this year for our confirmation parents guardians loved ones members of the church please let's support if United Church we can even train one priest so basically we'll play please you know how we do our fundraising or our here. here we don't waste time so please MS cities 200 500,000 in the amount you want to put in to support for the training of priests. It's the ushers who need us. And let's bring our money to support training of priests. Thank you. So please, NRS cities, 50 cities, 1,200 in the amount just to support our priests. We put it there, plastic. Basically, please lead us. Ushers, please, let's start coming.
May be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of their hands, the praise and glory of His name, both to our benefit and the that of all His holy The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is indeed right in our duty and our joy at all times and all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, heavenly King, almighty, eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, for he is your living word, through him you have created all things from the beginning and form us in your own image. Through him you are freed from the slavery of sin, giving him to born as man to die upon the cross. You raise him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. Therefore, with angels and archangels, before the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you 
and praying. Holy, 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 God of power and might, having a net are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example, obey his command. Grant by the power of your Holy Spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave the disciples, saying, Take it. This is my body which I give for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, to the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and gave to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood and new covenant, which is shared for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for upon the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension as we look for his coming in glory. We celebrate this bread and this cup is one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him our great high priest, this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your Holy Spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, before we stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessings and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As I say, what Christ has taught us, so we pray.
we pray this prayer to share in the body of Christ. So we are many, we are one body because we are one bread. Lamp of God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamp of God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamp of God, take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. The gift of God for the people of God. Take the moment that Christ died for you and feed on him your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Church will sit down and take the notices for today. Also members on duty for this week are Brother Angelante and Brother Benjamin Ado. Council members on duty for next week will be Brother Mary Ashley and Sister Nanaya Fashley. Church dues. Kindly pay your church dues of 60 Ghana cities a year or 5 Ghana cities a month for the year 2023. You may visit the front desk to make your payment or visit the church office to do so. Payments can also be made through our Momo account number 0242797102 with reference church dues and this will be duly acknowledged. Validatory service. There will be a validatory service in honor of our resident minister, Reverend Canon Ibrahim Elijah Kwashi, on Sunday, September 24, 2023. All fellowships and groups should be prepared, so we give our resident minister a befitting service. Revival, revival. There will be a three-day revival Reverend Father Edward Foley Adade from tomorrow, Monday, 11th to 13th, September 2023. It will be a revival of praise and adoration. Prepare to wear your dancing shoes and join fellow believers to sing praises and adoration to God's holy name. In attendance will be the church choir, basic and Augustine prays. Let us all prepare prayerfully for this revival. Children's Day. Next Sunday is Children's Day. Let us come to church to support our future leaders. Children and Youth Camp 2023. The Scripture Union Greater Accra Region and Tema Area organizing Camp 2023 on a theme, Jesus, the light 
of the world. The theme is from John chapter 8, verse 12, from the 18th to the 23rd of September 2023 at the Datus International School for 97 Tema. The rate is 300 Ghana cities excluding transportation. This, the scripture union is asking for sponsors so that those who cannot afford will also have the opportunity to participate. Kindly contact the administrator with your kind donation. Thank you. Weekly programs. Morning devotion is held every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 5.30 a.m. Kindly take note and make an effort to attend. Eucharistic service morning mass is held every Thursday from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. The entire congregation is invited. Bible study, is, Bible study and prayer meeting is held every Wednesday and the time is 10 a.m. Prayer meeting is held every Friday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Come and be blessed. Meetings. The Women's Fellowship will meet on Tuesday, September 12, 2023 20, 20, at 5.30 p.m. Men's Fellowship will meet on Thursday, September 21, also at 6 p.m. Royal Generation will meet on Monday, September 11, 2023. 23 at 6.30 p.m. And the Youth Fellowship will also meet on Tuesday, September 12, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. All members should endeavor to be present. New members are welcome. A total offering of 11,000 733 Ghana City 64 Ghana Pesos was realized last week and the details are as follows. First service 1,198 Ghana City 60 Ghana Pesos. Second service 1,388 Ghana City 20 Ghana Pesos. Thursday Eucharistic service 460 Ghana City. Friday offer tree 280 Ghana City 70 Ghana Pesos. Children service of a tree 160, one Ghana cities 90 Ghana pesos. Tight 7,479 Ghana cities 34 Ghana pesos. Junior youth 264 Ghana cities. Church youth 65 Ghana cities. And dance offering 700 Ghana cities. Total once again is 11,000. 733 Ghana cities, 64 Ghana pesos. We give thanks to God Almighty for this amount. Amen. Thanks offering. The family of the late Duke Kome Lai is thanking God with an amount of 200 Ghana cities for a successful funeral. We are also grateful to the leadership of the church for the support. Their meditation is from Job chapter 1, verse 21. And I read, The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. A word of thanks goes to the right Reverend Dr. Daniel S.M. Toto for his inspiring sermon. The end of the announcements. We thank all of you for coming, and I'm sure you've enjoyed the service. And it's our prayer that even as, like the bishop said, some few weeks I'll be leaving you. It's my prayer that uh, the senior that will live in once a while I invite the Anglican bishop for confirmation here. So, my Lord Bishop, you are welcome. We have in our midst. Uh, right, Reverend Dr. Sivanos Minsatoto, the Anglican Bishop of Accra. My Lord, you are welcome. Let's clap for him. Thanks for coming. 
Okay. The bishop came with his wife. We have Mother Superior Gladys Toto. Yes. She is the bishop's best friend, and I'm sure her second best friend is me. <laughs> we have some some of the Anglican priests here. Reverend Father Roland Pono, Christ the King Anglican Church. Sakumono. His son is one of them. He completed, he just wrote a BC here. And we also have Reverend Father Christopher Ama, St. Peter's Anglican Church, Nungwa. His son is also among them. He also wrote a BC here. I mean, they were all students here, they completed here. We have the mother of the house, Mother Theodora Kwashi, are you there? Mother is busy outside. Ah, okay. Mother Kuanu. And then Mother Ama. We have uh, Mother Akwa Kofi Amwati. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Methodist, you don't call mother, but she's mother. It's the same. It's the same. Mami. Yeah. yeah. Okay, also, today, the one who led the liturgy is her own. Uh, last week, it was sent off. But, like the senior that said, it's here up to 30th September, according to the letters given to both of us. We are up to 30th September, so we can go now. Yeah, so, so let's, let's clap for very Reverend Dr. Kofi Akwa. He prefers Akwa and Martin. Very Reverend, thanks for coming. Okay, we thank all of you, Senior Eda, Mr. Otto, and also we have service, service from St. Peter Anglican Church, Nungwa. We, please, you are welcome. We've seen in, not telling them. Let's clap for our service. Stand, stand so that, yeah. Grassimo and the other. Sylvester. And Sylvester, thanks for coming. God bless you. Next two weeks also, I'm inviting you. Next two weeks, I'll throw incense. That will be my last service here. So I'll throw incense here. Yeah. Yeah. So please, next two weeks, we we'll use incense. Thanks for coming. And I'm your servant. Reverend Kano Ibrahim Elijah Kwashi. Okay. Please, uh, the reviver, like announced, this time is going to praise and adoration reviver. He solely praise and adoration. And one of our best friends of United Church, uh, Reverend Father Edward Foley Adade, will be leading. So please, let's come, let's prepare, and let's come and dance, praise, and worship God. It's not prayer session. We are only coming to dance, praise, and adore. So please, from tomorrow evening, 6.30 p.m., tomorrow up to Wednesday, invite a friend for a friend to invite a friend. God bless you. Women first, don't worry, we'll do, we'll do it. Yeah. Women first leader, Auntie Amba, yeah, we'll come to you, don't worry, after the blessing by the bishop. So the Lord Bishop will bless the newly confirmed, then Women Fellowship, your new members, you will bless them.
place giving thanks, last but not the least, our home mama, the one who took them, our evangelist, Mrs. Annie Ameyao. Let's clap for him. We thank you. Stand, stand so that we, Mrs. Ameyao stand. Yeah. She's been taking care of the convention guys for so many years. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Women fellow Shantama, please come to the mic and mention their names. for the leaders, Mrs. Maldini and Mrs. Quartin, for taking them through. Thank you. United believers in the Lord, believers, we thank God for giving yourselves to join the Women's Fellowship. And as women, you have a responsibility towards the men. That is the church. You are, not, you are mothers of the church. And therefore, having joined the fellowship, it's our prayer that you give all so that this church will have more children that will be the future leaders of this church. So give up your best. Don't just join because either the green duku or scarf and the white lace. But you are joining so that you will also give your input and help the church to grow. It's our prayer that as you come in, the face of the women's fellowship here will change. Just six of you can change the face of the women's fellowship. Just six of you. Hmm? We have used incense. We use only one charcoal to ignite all the charcoals in the turbo. So just one of you can make a difference. Don't just come, accept it, receive, then you go back, then you claim to be members of this fellowship. But be a light. Eh? In Ghana, we say, Ne come. So please, we employ you to give your best. Thank you for accepting to be members of the fellowship. Let us pray. Gracious and valuable Father, I want to thank you and bless you for these daughters of yours whom have offered themselves into full membership of the women's fellowship. Having been received, we pray for your empowerment for them. Lord, let them be faithful servants in this fellowship. Let them be a light to lighten others to join the fellowship. May their lives reflect the life of Christ. That other women in this church and elsewhere will be drawn unto yourself. So Lord, we pray that strengthened by your divine favor, by your divine love, by your divine power, Lord, these six of them will change the face of the fellowship as they do exploits for you. 
we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father bless you. God the Son redeem me from every danger and calamity. And God the Holy Spirit sanctify you holy unto himself. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you. Remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Please face the congregation as we are senior elder, uh, clergy here, former senior elders, and group presidents to extend right hand of fellowship to you. Please face the congregation as. So please, senior elder. Yes. AGH391 is the closing hymn. We sing the first, the second, and the last. First, second, and last. United. Uh, we have a small token here to be presented to the bishop for the training of our ministers. So, bishop, this is what we have. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank the choir. We thank all of you. Let's sing only the first stanza of The Lord is My Shepherd, as the bishop gives the final benediction. Only the first stanza. The Lord is my shepherd.
May the God of hope fill you for joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you when we feel always. Where the confirmation service is centered, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Let's sing thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Today you are all Anglicans. God bless you. <laughs> Let me thank the church for um, your support towards the training of priests. I'm most grateful. Unfortunately, they didn't count, so I'm going to count it to myself. And so let, next week, we can of course, we'll tell you how much you raised towards this training program. God bless you. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Mm. Please, after the session, council members, please just come outside so that we'll take a group photograph with the uh, bishop, council members, and past senior elders. Inclusive. Thank you. Research nine. Research nine. Him we are researching the, the first stanza, so not the second stanza. Best. Three, nine, eight.
place it. I forgot to thank the American Dows of Accra TV, Adwa TV. Please always tune in, get Adwa TV, Adwa, A-D-O, I mean Anglican Dows of Accra TV. So it was a live coverage. So we thank Adwa TV for coming. God bless you. United. United. Uh, today we have council meeting, so please, council members, be reminded. So from here, we will go and join the uh, bishop at the front of the church and take pictures. The service is over. Let's go and keep praising the Lord. Amen. Thank you.